Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot and it's going to be a coronavirus special but I think we'll all agree that there's nothing special about COVID-19 and as we are all at home tucking into comfort food of beans and sausages brokers have upgraded ratings on Cranswick the maker of fresh pork and chicken gourmet sausages and cooked meats it's one of the few in the entire London market to be in a positive Positive position this year and back in November it was highlighted as a portfolio essential by billboarder Colin Co. Meanwhile companies involved in the diagnostics drug development and medical equipment provision and those focusing on solutions for lung conditions have all seen strong stock price rises as the world grapples with the pandemic. Pre-COVID crisis Verona Farmer said 2020 was going to be a transformational year and so it has come to pass. This week it announced it has delivered positive efficacy and safety data from a phase two trial of its drug for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Smith's group meanwhile is delaying its separation of its Smith's medical businesses as it works directly with the government for a significant ramp up in production of its portable ventilator to help with the NHS shortfall. Now Smith's Medical is working with a consortium of 14 engineering and other groups including Rolls-Royce, McLaren, Megat, GKN and Renishaw to scale up production of its Parapac Plus ventilator model at its factory in Luton. Farron Pharmaceuticals, its stock has surged on the back of its own interferon beta treatment, Traumakine, which is intravenously administered and targets acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS, uh, something that has become common among severely ill patients in the current coronavirus outbreak. Stay with me, there's plenty more to come because shares in N4 Pharma, they've seen a new lease of life since the start of March as the group kicks off a proof of concept study which will use a coronavirus DNA plasmid to demonstrate the ability of the firm's NUVEC delivery system to act as a method of delivering a possible vaccine for the illness. Well, let's have a look at the share price chart for Synergen because recently it raised £14 million to fund the trial of its interferon beta treatment in coronavirus patients. Remember last week, Gene Drive said a clinically validated high throughput format for its coronavirus test could be available in approximately eight weeks. And as mentioned last week, AIM listed biotech Novasite, its stock surging as it develops its own corona virus test. Now this is one that I've mentioned already this month but it's worthy of a second mention. It is intellectual property investor Tech Capital. We've seen that stock surge over the past month uh, partly as a result of its portfolio company Belluscura which earlier filed a patent for a portable oxygen enrichment system to treat patients suffering from respiratory illnesses brought on by infections such as coronavirus. Well, during the pandemic, homeworking has become the norm and many of us are trying virtual teleconferencing for the first time and one company based in Ireland is benefiting from us trying out the new technology. We're talking about businesses including VR Education PLC. It's a virtual conferencing business. It says that its phones have been ringing off the hook since coronavirus restrictions were imposed. 
Okay, let us go to the website www.lse.co.uk. Go and forage in the blogs section because pioneering equity investor Eric Chalker has given us the benefits of his insights. Look at his piece, The Economic Consequences of COVID-19, which covers price to earnings ratios, interest rates, inflation and tax. It's not dull, it is delightful. Well, in terms of scheduled announcements, and remember, scheduled has gone out of the window because the FCA has allowed companies to delay, postpone their announcements. There's a kind of moratorium, but if they so choose, April the 1st, April the Fool's Day, we should get, or we might get, an investor update from Wiz Air. And it might not be a joke for the airline company when it releases its trading update. Now, here's the load factor and passenger numbers from February. It's unlikely March's numbers will bear any resemblance. And April the 2nd, Thursday, if they so choose to, Saga is due to release its latest trading update. We've already heard from the holiday and insurance company what it has done. It, it suspended operations of its cruises until May the 1st. It said that would reduce cruise profit before tax by between 10 million and 15 million. But it reminded investors it has significant available liquidity underpinned by a 100 million undrawn revolving credit facility. It had £33 million of cash at the end of February and it says the insurance business is not expected to be significantly impacted by COVID-19 and it had a good start to the current financial year. But it has not been a good march for billboarder Peter Three. He went to a wedding he cuddled his great nieces. Now, they had had their hair braided by a coronavirus carrier. He was affectionate. He got COVID and his short illness blog makes harrowing reading. So stay safe, stay well, stay in and cherish the loo roll. All around me there are people fighting for the right to keep on wiping it's confusing because it's not a hard sum every human's only got a single bum and the cheapest brand of roll in oldie single ply that's why they ain't sold me even if you try a triple foldy press too hard and fingers poke right through me all of a sudden i'm a savior a hero in demand people think the world will end without a piece of me in hand and now i'm the one who's laughing as i'm sitting on the shelf watching all the push and shoving it's a very very bad world bad world